I love all my clients because they ask me the most fabulous questions. So a client of mine the other day asked me that she has been regularly doing her meditations and instead of feeling relaxed, she is feeling negative and she is feeling aggressive. She asked me if this is normal and what is she doing wrong. She was very frustrated and upset with herself. And you know what, if you are going through the same thing, my friend, this is absolutely normal because whatever comes to the surface was already there within you. So it's nothing new. Whatever emotions are coming to the surface right now, they have been suppressed for way too long. So you decided, you took a very strong decision that you wanted to improve your life right you want to become the best version of yourself you want to evolve you want to grow so you started doing your inner work maybe you meditate maybe you journal maybe you do some other exercises when you do these exercises exercises will come up whatever you have been suppressing whatever emotions whatever crud is there inside of you will come to the surface so you can finally see it accept it, acknowledge it, feel it and release it. This is where so many people just panic and they go back to their previous coping mechanisms and these coping mechanisms are usually very unhealthy and they include chasing unavailable partners, drinking, binge eating, smoking, doing drugs etc etc. Right? So instead of resorting to these coping mechanisms, just sit with those emotions right so maybe you are very irritable and aggressive and you are lashing out at your loved ones and at your family members so in that case what you need to do is if you realize that you are getting triggered then the most smart thing for you to do in that situation is to physically remove yourself from that scene from that space so leave that room and come to another room. Come to a room, a private room where you will not be disturbed. So you can lock yourself up and for half an hour, just allow yourself to express that emotion. Yeah, you want to journal, journal. You want to cry, cry. You want to punch a mattress, do that. You want to speak something out loud, let it out. So this way, you're not lashing out at anyone, you're not gossiping, you're not bitching. This is the safest way to release those negative emotions. And once you release them, you feel them and then you release them, they lose their grip over you. Yeah, these negative emotions are like little children. All they want is your attention, your acknowledgement. And when you do that, they lose their grip over you they start to fade away. If you resist these emotions, sure, you can distract yourself for a little while, but then they come back intensified the next day or after a few hours. Yeah, so you can escape. Yes, of course you can do that. But these emotions will come back. And when they come back, they feel even more intense. What you resist persists. And what you finally look at, what you acknowledge, what you accept, fades away, it goes away. Acceptance is the way to healing. Who knows how long you have been holding on to these emotions for? Who knows how long you have been trying to escape these emotions? So maybe these emotions are from when you were very little, from when you were a teenager, when you were 10 years old. Who knows and who cares? The point is they are coming up now so that you can once and for all feel them and release them. Because you set such a powerful intention yeah, to the universe, to God, to your higher self. I want to improve, I want to heal, I want to become the best version of myself. So your higher self is like, all right, I will show you what you need to accept, what you need to feel, what you need to release. I will show you all the crap once and for all so you can finally let it go. And this is the point where so many of us start panicking. So my friend, don't worry, don't panic. If this is happening to you, this is absolutely normal. In fact, this is great news. 
because now you can just let it all go once and for all and move on yeah with a lot of peace with a lot of power what else do you want how you choose to release these emotions is totally up to you so you need to figure out what kind of space you have what kind of privacy you have can you journal can you not journal like what is your situation right can you release the emotions through movement through dancing through walking through crying or if all of this is too much for you then definitely seek professional help go to a therapist go to a coach go to a counselor there is no shame in getting help all right so that is it for today's video i hope this has been useful if you would like to work with me one on one write to me my email address is mentioned in the description box down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will be back here very soon with another video bye